Hello everybody. This is Gwyneth Isaacs here. Um, Psychic Isaacs. And I'm here today to make an announcement that I am now doing my 1900 readings on Psychic TV and through Psychic Lounge. So anyone who wants a reading from me, that's where I'm that's where I'm at now. And I'm pretty excited about that because they're a really good bunch of people. And um yeah, and thank you very much to Rusi and also thank you very much to um Amanda for helping me along this path, this career path that I'm on. Amanda Hall, you're a lovely, lovely lady. You just got something something on my nose. Anyway, there we go. Um, yeah, this um, webcast today, or podcast, it, it, that's, the per that's um, one of the purposes of it. The other purpose of it is this. Um, there's some pretty exciting things happening in the world today, um, especially over the next week or two. There seem to be a great number of indicators that relate to um, the 9th of March, okay? It's astrologically very significant. Um, and as well as that, Cliff High and the WebBot seem to be pointing it out. And also that window time period of the um, 6th to the 9th of March it's an important indicator with uh, Terence McKenna's Time Wave Zero work um, what Cliff High's work indicates is that um, it's the starting from approximately between the 2nd and the 5th of March actually but the outside edge of that window is the um, 9th of March. It's what he calls a release language period, which basically means that, um, you know, when you get building tension language, uh, the example that I use with my kids to explain it is this. Uh, when you say, Christmas is coming, Christmas is coming, Christmas is coming, Christmas is coming, that is building tension language. When the kids wake up on Christmas morning and say, Mummy, Christmas is here! That is release language. And it also has a lot to do with um, often the release of prisoners, um, various prominent people dying, um, and various other sorts of departures, uh, resignations, and so on and so forth. Now, uh, of course, all of that has been happening over the last week. Um, this release language period is not going to be like the other release language periods. It, um, how can I explain it? Every other time that Cliff High has come across a um, release language period, it's always flipped over into more building tension language fairly quickly, uh, usually within a matter of hours or within a matter of days. So, but this release language period doesn't have a swap over back into building tension language. Okay? And that makes it pretty well unique in the history of the web bots. This has never ever happened. Okay? If you want to know what the web bots are, just go to your friendly neighborhood search engine and Google it because it's too complicated for me to explain here. Uh, and anyway, Cliff does a much better job of it than I do. Um, now, Terence McKenna's work. Here's the other one who flags major changes starting um, in the first week of March 2012. 
and what he flags in his work instead of tracking building tension and release language he, he tracks um, novelty okay and his work is through the I Ching King Wen sequence King Wen sequence of the I Ching now that's pretty interesting because as you know I study the I Ching and it's highly reliable it's um, well I mean all of the methods of divination that I've studied have been accurate but the I Ching I seem to have a special affinity for it and um, I haven't been studying it for anywhere near as long as I've been studying astrology and tarot and I haven't been doing it anywhere near as long as I've been giving um, utterances of knowledge um, but I'll tell you what I love the I Ching it's just uh, simple it's um, <coughs> unambiguous and yet just cryptic enough to be really really interesting but um, anyway that's what Kent, Terence McKenna and once again if you want to know the mechanics of it do a search, an internet search on um, Terence McKenna and you'll come across his work. His, he's died unfortunately um, but his brother Dennis McKenna is still alive and is still continuing on in the same work. Now the other area that I have been studying has been the um, Bible codes of Whitsum and Rips as found in the um, books written by Michael Drosnan. Now I've been studying the Bible codes for gosh a long time. Uh, longer than, far longer than I've been studying um, tarot or astrology but I haven't had the software. I've had to go on what other people have written about the Bible code. But the Bible Code is remarkable because of the um, probability factor in it as far in excess of what is found with astrology or tarot or the I Ching or any other form of divination. The probability factors with the Bible Code run into millions to one against and yet it works. Now, the Bible codes are typed in um, because I don't speak Hebrew. I would love to speak Hebrew. I'll have to learn it one day, but I don't. Um, I have to use the King James Version of the Bible code, which also works, okay? And like I said, don't ask me how, because all I'll give you is the answer that it must be the voice of God in the Bible. And if you don't want to believe that, well, that's up to you. But like I say, the odds against it working are millions to one, and yet it works. Um, the Bible codes I typed in... Um, Purim, which this year falls on the 9th of March and the 10th of March. Okay. Um, the Hebrew dates are the 13th. Oh, hang on. Mm. The 13th and 14th of Adar. I'm pretty sure that's right but if it's not, then you'll have to forgive me on that. But anyway, in our uh, modern Gregorian calendar, it's the 9th and the 10th of March. Um, starting on the 8th of March in the 
um, Eastern Hemisphere. I'm going to the um, 10th of March in the Western Hemisphere. Okay. Now, um, or is it the 11th? Anyway, that window of time. It's quite interesting that these three modes of divination, all highly accurate, the, the web bots may be less so, um, but the, the I Ching and the Bible Code highly reliable methods of divination are flagging this time period of 9th to the 10th of March and also in fact the whole first week of March in the case of the web box. What is going to happen? Well you tell me, I've got my own theories but I'm keeping them to myself unfortunately. I don't think you would believe me if I told you. It's something that is going to be completely different to anything you've ever seen before in your life. That is what it's going to be. And I'm holding my breath and holding on to the edge of my seat on this one because it's going to be good. Actually, I can tell you a little bit of what I've seen. If you are somebody who is holding out for spiritual change, transformation, ascension, and this sort of thing, you are going to be very, very happy because this is going to be something that changes everything. Everybody is going to be given what they want. The people who don't want to know God, I'm here to tell you that God's going to start leaving you alone. Okay? You might go, woohoo! That's pretty good. Now, I don't think so. You know? If you're a person who believes uh, that there is a coming spiritual transformation and that you are one of the restrainers on this earth, then you are going to be really, really happy because there's this kind of spiritual transformation that you have been looking for is absolutely at the brink of happening. And you people who have been hanging out for that, you know what I mean. Okay? The others is very, very difficult to explain to people what that, what that particular phrase means. But this is the start of the point where everything changes. For the people who are busy prepping out there, it's probably time to head for your bug out shelter. Okay? Because the time that you have been preparing for is at the door as well. And for you it's going to be really, really hard. Because you want it to be hard. You have been confessing for years that it's going to be hard for you. And it is going to be hard for you. For the spirit-filled people from all religions and all faiths, you are going to see a sh you are going to be glowing. Okay? This is going to be something that you have prayed for and dreamed for for years of spiritual transformation of humanity, of the sort of frequency change. And I don't know if it's going to happen overnight on March the 9th. It would be really nice if it did. Really nice. 
So I don't know if it's going to happen. You know, it's really, really difficult to see into this area accurately. I've done a great deal of praying and a great deal of study and research to try and see what was going to be happening here because I've been baffled by it. Okay? It's not an easy area to investigate because you look at it one way and you see one thing happening and then you look at the other angle and you go, hmm, I didn't see that. How does that fit? And what it's like is it's like looking at a carbuncle. It's like looking at a gemstone. You twist it one way, or a crystal, you twist it one way and you see one thing. And then you turn it slightly and you see something completely different. And you think, wow, this is, this is deep. You know? Hmm. This is certainly a, a big space-time anomaly, this one. You know, this is this is something that has never happened before, and I can see what Terence McKenna was saying that this is an absolute novelty drop-off cliff face, because whatever you're thinking, whatever you're hoping for, that's exactly what you're going to get. So the, these people who are wanting apocalypse, they're going to get their apocalypse. But the people who want spiritual transformation like me, like David Wilcock, like um, uh, David Icke, you know, this is what we're going to get. We're going to be transformed. And we're going to shine like the sun. And it's exciting for me. It's probably also exciting for all of the preppers out there because this is the time for you to head to your bug out shelters, boys and girls. All of those who have got bug out bags, this is the time for you to be doing your final preps because... If you wait another week to get there, it may well be too late. Now, am I expecting that everything's going to happen in one day? My experience with the web bot is, is that when Cliff High marks dates, notices dates, I'll tell you what, is generally accurate but there's usually a time window that happens, okay? It's often over the next few days afterwards. And this is what I've seen th thus far this week in the first week of March. You've had a lot of the temporal markers falling that Cliff Hyde told us to wait for. Like, for instance, um, the release language regarding the death of Whitney Houston on the 15th of February, you know. I know that that was early. The thing about all of the bankers suddenly deciding to resign. This whole Bob Carr, Kevin Rudd, Julia Gillard thing here in Australia. Now, how many people did she reassign? And she only had a cabinet reshuffle like two months ago? That's odd. You know? That's just leaves me shaking my head because she's just well, it's obvious that Kevin Rudd is now released from his post, which in itself is a big temporal marker. Um, Bob Carr 
is also released into his position and a whole bunch of um, federal ministers here in Australia suddenly are finding themselves without work or with different work rather because most of them still have their um, parliamentary seats but they don't have their ministerial posts anymore because Julia Gillard's been in there with her card deck and she's done a lot of shuffling now, you know, what to expect. Like I say, everybody's going to get what they want. I think I made a video something like this. But I don't know how many of you would have sort of um, really got what I was saying in that one. Because I was also saying a lot about the rapture in that which is a Judeo-Christian version of the transformation or the ascension. Now, that very well may happen. Um, I really hope it does, because if it does, then, you know, I'm on the first flight out of here. Um, because this world is not getting any better. And I'm really, um, I'm working here because I have to, because I'm a human being with a job to do, okay, which is to be a psychic. But if I get the chance to leave, you know, then I think I'll be going. And it will be an interdimensional thing. And that will be a happy day indeed for me. Now, I've got something else. I had an interview um, a little while ago with a very dear friend of mine. Um, my friend does not wish to be named. But he gave me an audio recording of this interview that we had. And if I get a chance to, you know, I'm going to be releasing it as an audio download within the next week or two. At the moment, my computer has died. So including my DVD burner, so I can't copy it. But he's given me the rights to copy it and the rights to publish it. The things that came up with this interview were really, really interesting. And, um, my God, the spiritual information absolutely poured out he just kept asking me all these questions and they were great questions and the information just poured out and I didn't even know where it was coming from and all I can say is that it must have been spirit now I'm going to publish this fairly soon um, as a Clickbank download and it's going to be a paid download because the recording is over four hours long and it's an absolute mine of information but I've got to get to and do it and get it uploaded to Clickbank I'll let you know through my Facebook page and through um, YouTube and you know all the rest of it through my website my website is www.gwyneth.com and that's g-u-i-n-e-i-t-h dot com and that's where you can find all that I'm doing in this world I mentioned at the beginning of this podcast that I'm now working for Psychic TV which is fantastic so happy about that they're such a great bunch of people and I love Amanda Hall 
She's a beautiful lady. And I love Rusi. And I love all the Psychic TV crew. And all the best to all of you. Now, um, what have I? What else have I got to say? I've said about the um, about the audio recording. I've said about Psychic TV. Oh yes, if you want to book a reading with me, I'm available through the Psychic Lounge. That's www.psychiclounge.com. Dot au and as I mentioned I work for Psychic TV I'm on air through the Psychic TV in their call centre for five nights of the week um, probably will end up being six nights of the week and I'm also often logged on during the day but not always because you know I have a life too but this is my career this is what I do I do psychic research I um, do readings for various people locally they um, you can if you live in the Geraldton Greenwich area you can get a hold of me on Facebook and you can book a reading my um, just type in the search page Gwyneth Isaacs, G-U-I-N-E-I-T-H, Isaacs, I-S-A-A-C-S, and you can book a reading with me. Um, in person, and that represents very good value. That's $50 for half an hour, and you can ask all the questions you want within that half hour. And however many times I need to deal the pack and shuffle and do coins and whatever, um, that's just fine. $50 for half an hour is very, very good value indeed. Or alternatively, you can get hold of me at the Psychic Lounge. My PIN number there, my identification number, is 7227. And if you dial the Psychic Lounge or the Psychic TV number, which is on their site, www.psychictv.com.au or www.psychiclounge.com.au and type in my code, which is 7227. 7227. And that's me, Gwyneth Isaacs. I'm just about heading up to 30 minutes here. So that's the length of my podcast. I think that's quite long enough for anybody. And, yeah, I don't know what's going to happen over the next week. You know, I've got my own set of challenges to go through over the next week, uh, which has got nothing to do with um, anybody else's life except for myself. Um, so all the positive energy that I can get is all welcome, but I'm in a happy frame of mind, I'm in a very, I'm making an effort to stay in a very positive mindset, because what in this coming week you think, that is what will manifest in your life. If it can be summed up in a nutshell, that is it. That that which you wish is what you're going to get. And so, the corollary to that is, make sure that you're very careful what you are wishing for, what you are saying, what you are believing to happen. And... Just believe for the best, you know, the workers of light, I salute you, I am one with you, and you all have a really, really great day. Bye-bye.